Imagine this scenario. You were driving at a steady 30 miles per hour in a built-up area when a pedestrian steps into the road a short distance ahead of you. You see the pedestrian and apply the brakes with maximum effort to perform an emergency stop. Thankfully, you avoid hitting them, but only just. The distance from the point where you first saw the hazard to the point where your vehicle comes to a standstill is your stopping distance. Stopping distance is made up of thinking distance, the distance you cover in the time between seeing a hazard and applying the brakes, and braking distance, the minimum distance required to bring your vehicle to a standstill. How much does speed really affect stopping distance? What about an extra five miles per hour? Doesn't sound like much. How unsafe can it be? Imagine the same scenario as before, except this time you're doing 35 miles per hour. Even with the same reaction time, your higher speed means your thinking distance is two meters longer. This means you now have only 12 meters to impact, but those extra five miles per hour mean you really need around 19 meters to break to a stop. At the point when you hit the pedestrian, you're still doing around 18 miles per hour, enough to seriously injure or even kill them. Whenever you're driving or riding, ask yourself, am I able to stop safely within the distance I can see to be clear on my own side of the road? The answer will depend on a range of factors, including traffic levels, weather conditions, and whether you're alert or distracted. Be prepared to adjust your speed and following distance to ensure that you are able to stop safely should a hazard arise.